let's touch quickly on the religion question. You, you, you mentioned this in passing, but let's just develop a little bit. You, you say, and again I quote you, a dangerous intellectual mess is created by the mixing up of words such as extremism and militancy with very different concepts of fundamentalism and conservatism. Mm -hmm. And then uh, of the Islamist political movements, and again you've touched on this, you, you, you say the question is not why they are so strong, but why they are so weak. Mm. That's an interesting and perhaps counterintuitive thing for an American to, to grasp. Mm. So um, again, back to the paradox question. Well, of course, I mean, the, there is a, a strong and dangerous militant movement in Pakistan now. But, you know, if you look at Pakistani history and according to, you know, opinion polls, the next elections as well, the actual Islamist parties have, with really very rare exceptions, done very poorly mm. in the elections. They've never come anywhere near yeah, a majority. Yeah, pretty constant, hasn't it? I yeah. Mean, in yeah. the single digits. That's right. right. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, that's pretty striking because, you know, in other countries, um, uh, you know, and after all, Pakistan has had a sort of, a rep, you know, elections much more than in the Middle East. People are very poor. It has a very strong intellectual tradition of Islamism. Well, at least it was strong. It hasn't really been updated for decades now. Um, and in parts of the Middle East, the Islamists won in Algeria until it was overturned by a military coup. They won in Turkey. They may well do extremely well in mm. Egypt, and so mm. so it's very striking that in fact they haven't been able to develop in Pakistan, and for me that brings out, above all, to some extent the backwardness of Pakistan, because you know these modern Islamist parties, uh, you know they they do come out of a certain kind of modernity, especially mm. mm. urbanisation, mm. um, but it also just brings out the fact that Pakistan is so divided. It's divided into you know, a party recommend you know representing one sect of Islam, will always have enormous sections of the country against it before you even get into the differences between the different provinces, you know, yep. different ethnic traditions, different languages, yeah. and so forth and so on. Yeah. So once again, I mean, it, in some ways, Pakistan is, is too divided to experience a, yeah. a revolution. Yeah. Terrorism, of course, that's a different matter, you know. I fear that terrorism is now going to be with Pakistan for um, a long time to come. But, you know, some of the most terrible uh, attacks of terrorism have been directed by the Pakistani Taliban against other Muslim sects yeah. and shrines who they hate on theological grounds. Mm, mm. So, of course, that doesn't do anything to win supporters in those traditions. Yeah.